Robert, great to speak with you. Danny here in London. We also saw today a record cash injection from the PBOC, yeah. $112 billion. Yeah. So a figure like that, will that directly translate into metal dem demands? Will that b give your business, will that give copper as a whole a big old boost for demand in China? Well, copper is doing fine, uh, given that the Fed raised rates from zero to 5%. And all that Chinese uh, mm -hmm. stimulus of their economy uh, will affect that 20% of the uh, of their economy that we're worried about, their real estate sector. So everybody, when they think of China, they think of the real estate yeah. sector. But actually, um, it's a much broader economy than that. And they're 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 a solar, they're wind, their new energy developments are massive. So, what do you think the demand pull from China is going to be like next year? I think it's very healthy. Okay. You see, inter you know, physical inventories are incredibly low. Chinese smelters are scrambling to find feed. The tolling and refining charges in China are down very, very sharply, meaning they're very hungry. Mm -hmm. The smelters are very hungry. So the miners are having trouble supplying enough copper concentrate to keep their downstream refining capacity full. And that's actually a global issue. Robert, Morgan Stanley thinks that copper is going to go to 9000 by the second quarter. How, do, how does that sound to you? Is that a realistic price target uh, when it's at about 8500 right now? Yeah, that's, Maybe more, that's more or less a, a consensus view. I think 9000 is sort of middle of the road. Hard to argue with that. Um, is that going to disrupt demand? Is it fine? Is that, is that all right? Will, the, will it be cost sensitive at all? In order like to build a new mine, I mean, the, the it's, demand it's, is going to be really strong. 9,000 9, bucks is not enough per ton to stimulate the industry to, to take the risk to build huge capital intensive mines, especially in Latin America. The traditional giant porphyry copper mines, they're five to $20 billion each and 15 to 20 years of work. So we probably need $15,000 a ton, Whoa. stable for a long period of time before the industry can really gear up and build those giant mines. Wow, that's all. Yeah, I mean, we have seen that, right? Like copper mm -hmm. supply disruptions mm -hmm. are, are rising ro rapidly, Robert. Mm -hmm. What does the supply picture look like in 2024? Will it tighten even further? You know, if I hold a telephone book out here at the end of my arm for an hour, I can do it. But after an hour, if you put a feather out there, you'll break my arm. So markets are made at the margin. We've just lost about 3% of the production from disruptions in Panama and some uh, mines in Chile that are late. And that 3% is enough to take all the slack out of the market. So we're in deficit already. And as the Fed weakens rates uh, in, a, in an election year, Almost any additional disruption can cause a very, very, really sharp upward spike in prices. 